Hi, I'm Mike at Cleveland Aircraft Tool, and I'm going to do a quick unboxing video of the Safe Air system. This one happens to be the Skyview uh, kit for the Didon. Um, I've never done an unboxing video, so this is uh, kind of going to be fun and, and totally unscripted, so we'll see what's in the box. All right, so I have three different colors of tubing and a package of fittings and some instructions. I have actually read through the instructions and uh, very good, very good instructions. Um, the first thing here, is you'll see that um, the instructions have a list of all the parts and then it also has a quantity of each different kit. Now the kits that are offered are the Skyview system, which is A, that's what I have here. Uh, just a generic EFIS system with uh, optional backup. And a C is the standard steam gauge system. So there's you know seven elbows um, in the first two, only four in the steam gauges. So it, it's all comprehensive on a list here. Um, and then these are the parts which are in this box. Were, they were in the box, now they're on the floor. Um, so we have all kinds of different fittings, and there's the static port fittings um, for the safe air. Well, I have lost one on the floor, but I won't waste your time with that. So let me switch over to a detailed camera here, and I really thought that this would focus in on it. So there's um, Heiko bushings in there that are the correct size for the uh, tubing, it looks like, so you can pass those through. There's also some Heiko bushings. Oh, I'm sorry, they're not Heiko bushing, bushings. Um, they're just standard grommets. And so, focus. So these grommets um, are sized so that I didn't actually measure the, the size that you have to drill the hole for. Um, I will get that done. But they're sized so that the, it will hold um, the connector itself in a bulkhead connector kind of a fashion. So that's kind of a neat neat setup. So you can go through your bulkhead and hold the, the fitting rather than have the Heiko bushing holding the tubing. So there's a couple different options there it looks like. Um, lots of different fittings and like I said they're detailed on, on how many you get. And it looks like they have some machine screws, some stainless machine screws in the kit that go through the, the fittings themselves and allow you to bolt that onto a, a mounting plate. So these fittings are one of the first things that I noticed when I opened the box. And they have, um, I'm not sure how close this camera will focus, there we go. So they have a, a it looks like a steel sleeve inside so that would go inside of the nylon tubing. And then the way these work, if you're not familiar with the quick fittings, is there's a rubber O-ring and then a, a stainless grip ring on the inside. Um, so when you put them together, you just push it in and then pull it back. And in doing that, um, it's, a, it's a really quick setup, and then to release it, you just pull back on this collar. It pushes in on that stainless ring and allows you to release it. Uh, we've carried for years settings, or, uh, settings fittings similar to this, um, but they don't have the little metal ring inside, so that's, that's pretty interesting. We've never had any trouble with the ones we've had, um, but that, it looks like a, a nice quality fitting. Um, so this, this is the Safe Air brand, the one I have in my hand. I, I know that that's changing soon. Um, the Safe Air name is, is uh, going to be retired and it'll just go to a generic kit. Um, but it's been popular for years and I think will continue to be popular. So we have, um, what do they call these? They call them a male elbow with an eighth inch pipe thread on one side and elbow on the other. They have these Union T's. Uh, which are the hose can go in each direction. Where you would use this is when you have the static ports, you have one on each side. So 
the run uh, tube from each port into each side and then one tube out to the front of the airplane. Um, you have union elbows. Um, these are called um, run tees where it has the eighth inch NPT national pipe thread on one side and then the push fittings on two other sides. Um, handy for the back of instruments and I'll go over that in just a second here. Um, there's a branch T, which I, I think this would be the, the most used, where it would go in the back of an instrument and then your line would come in and go out in that fashion. Um, lots of the uh, bushings. And then here we have, um, they say it's a gold anodized, it looked brass to me, but it says gold anodized female connector. So your tubing goes into here. Switch cameras and see if this is any better. Um, so the tubing goes into the end here, and then this goes into a standard AN fitting um, with a pipe thread, and then this would go on to an aluminum tube. Now where these are used is on the Didon, I have a picture of this somewhere. Okay, so on the Didon um, pedostatic I'm oh, sorry, pitot angle of attack, not static, pitot angle of attack mast. Um, it comes out with aluminum tubing, and so you would flare with a 37 degree flare, not with an automotive connector. Um, the, the fittings on the end of that aluminum tubing, and then that's how you would connect it with, uh, with the tubing here. I didn't mention, let me, let me do that, the... Uh, colors they have listed here so they have the green the pedo system um, in a green tubing so we we'll use that for all your pedo uh, lines the white is for the static system and then the blue is angle of attack if you're using angle of attack so that's their color scheme and I don't know if that's a standard um, I know that uh, we've sold the individual colors and people people have ordered all kinds of different colors at different times. Um, another thing to take a look at is the static port fittings. Um, these are different than the Cleveland static port fittings. They, these are, are uh, marketed by Safeair and they have uh, eighth inch NPT in the back of them and then they're just flat on the front. Uh, the Cleveland ones have a little step on the front, so it, it indicate you can you can bond them on with Pro Seal, and it indicates um, how far away from the skin it sticks. Where this, um, you just put a, uh, a layer of Pro Seal on and stick them in, or you can uh, drill along this uh, radius that's machined in the back there if you want to put rivets in them. You can do it that way, and then you would use your uh, male tees to screw into the static port and run your line out from there. So it's a little different than our system, uh, the Cleveland system that we've had. And I'll go over that in a different video. I don't want to get into the ins and outs of, of uh, what's different, but I just wanted to kind of go through what is in this kit and kind of how it goes together, what you can expect to get. Um, I will show you this system planning thing because it, it's a it's a pretty nice chart and that we'll have the photos of this on our website as soon as we get these listed on our website so um, this is the this is the layout of the skyview system where it shows the different the different units and which connectors they use so this uses on the altimeter it uses a number one and on the airspeed it uses a number one and three so then you can come over here and see which ones those are the three is that branch T that I was um, talking about earlier. Come on, where is it at? Okay, so that would go into your airspeed and then out from there and into your altimeter. Um, and then a, a second one for static would go into your airspeed. So they have it really well laid out here, really easy to understand. Um, there's optional, optional parts it looks like and uh, then the next one is the EFIS 
layout. So this is this is a generic EFIS layout, how you would normally have that. And um, you would want to take your system and lay it out in addition to this, you know, if, it, to see if you needed any additional connectors before you um, really get going on this or, or be like me and get going on it and then see what you need. Um, and then there, the, third, the third type of package, so there's three different kits. This one that we're looking at is for the Skyview. There's a different one, different number of connectors and such for the EFIS. And then a third one, which I'm told is, is very uncommon that people buy this one, but it's for the steam gauges um, where they have uh, just the different connectors for the pitot static. Okay, and one last thing before I go is, I guess this is another unboxing. It is not part of the same kit. I want to be clear that it is a separate piece. Um, but it is the mast for that Didon uh, pedo AOA. So here we have um, a template, which is close to one to one. Actually, not quite. So it's it's close, but it wouldn't actually work. So um, probably want to use that as a guide more than an exact. Um, exact uh, cutting cutting template but it has uh, instructions on how the this one's also branded as safe air right now but that will change soon um, but it shows how to how to cut your wing skin um, and um, install the mast for the pedo and AOA so I'm just learning about this stuff. Um, I'm just opening it today and kind of getting used to it. So I'm sure I will have more questions as, as I, I start to uh, get into it further and as people call and say, what about this, what about that? But it gives me a good starting place to understand what's in the kit and how it goes together. And hopefully that will help you in your purchasing decisions. Let me know if you have any questions.